It's one of the favorite things for Kansas Regenerative Medicine to do is to take care of those who have sacrificed their lives or injured and essentially sacrificed their lives but not dead for our country and for us. So we give generously to them. And one in particular is a gentleman from back in the Midwest, a little higher up than Kansas. He was here at Fort Riley and was injured here, not in the war, but was serving his country here at Fort Riley and had severe injuries. Blaine suffered a traumatic brain injury. He was out on a weekend on his motorcycle and a young lady pulled out in front of him and he hit her head on. He suffered, of course, the brain injury, a fractured jaw, broken collarbone, broken rib, punctured lung, lacerations to the spleen. The main thing has been the brain injury that's affected him most, leaving him 100% disabled. We'd go to the end of the earth for Blaine. We've tried acupuncture. They are doing physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, but he really had plateaued. Most things weren't working. There were things that we wanted to try that his doctors would not authorize because he was too far past his brain injury. He couldn't hold his head up. He couldn't sit up straight. He couldn't use his arms other than to shake your hand. If you put your hand in his, he could hold it a little bit grasp, but he couldn't move his arms and utilize them had no use of his legs. They traveled all the way back down here to Manhattan specifically to have stem cells done at Kansas Regenerative Medicine Center just because of the reputation that we started to develop around the country. And ironically, this is actually uh, the exact uh, place that Blaine received his injury, so we have now come full circle. Since we've had the stem cells six months ago, you know, there's been so many things. I mean, I'm sure we're forgetting a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And things like his body temperature regulating uh, were things that we didn't really notice, you know, until we, we, you know, sat, we sat down, down and, and thought, about, thought about, it. about it. He also is able to feed himself uh, based upon the type of food. If it's something that he can stab with a fork and, you know, it stays on the fork because he does have a trimmer um, in that left hand, he can feed himself. And then he also is able to uh, give himself drinks on his own as well. Without this place, without KRMC, I don't know where we'd be today. Uh, it's, it's like they're waking up. Like they've been sleeping and the stem cells are making that connection now in the brain so that the arm, hand, and leg are starting to, to work again. After we treated him, his mother sent us back videos of Blaine writing his name on a whiteboard. It wasn't perfect penmanship, but that's not the point. The point is Blaine can now write. Blaine was able to hold his head up. And about a month later, they sent us pictures of Blaine sitting up with minimal support in a chair in his physical therapy place. And everyone's excited, thinking eventually he'll be able to hold himself up. He has much more use of his arms. He can turn his head. And you wouldn't believe the difference in his appearance. He has sparkle in his eyes again. 